Hi there, traders. This is Brad Gilbert with the FX Market Insight for Wednesday, the 8th of May. All right. Now, just as we head into the uh, Asian session, it's time to give you a bit of a refresh on what the hell is happening out there. All right. Now, let's just have a look at where the, um, and it should be the, the, the core basis of your um, analysis and, and before you start to trade, a bit of your trading process. Today's market conditions, well, the majors are just drifting sideways. They are completely as far as I can see, directionless. Okay, we're lacking US news, we're lacking clarity around the US-China situation, which is the core market drivers are still geopolitical. When they're geopolitical, it usually means trickier trading conditions. Okay, so if we have the, the core market drivers as a central bank, like the Fed, for instance, we get clear markets, uh, technical markets, we get clear direction across the board, and that's when trading's great. So just understand, at the moment, we do have, as the core market drivers, two big uh, geopolitical events. Obviously, Brexit's just been going forever, and uh, Trump is making uh, or dragging out the, this uh, situation with China and with the trade issues. So the major pairs, directionless all right now the core fundamentals the rba met yesterday um still uh their concerns are tilted towards the downside but they all they're almost coming back to more of a neutral stance but still i think this china situation is the key for a lot of these central banks especially for the uh rba and the rbnz the kiwi central bank now kiwi central bank funnily enough is the big release for today in the Asian session. Now, for those traders who missed the RBA, there was uh, some pretty crazy price action, even though they didn't even change rates. Right? There was like a 60, like a 20 point spike down, a 60 point spike up, and then it started trading. So just be aware, trading these events is hazardous. Right? So probably keep your nose out of this one. They are expected to cut, which, it, which makes it a bit more of a tradable uh, opportunity. The big risk is they don't cut. If they don't cut, Kiwi rallies 150 points or 100 points, goes through the roof. Do not think placing a pending order above the market is the way to go. You'll be set 50, 60, 70 points above your level. And then when the prices widen, you'll be taken out straight away. So it's a bad situation to be trading. All right. Wait till after the event, then have a look at what they've uh, said. And don't forget the press conference is uh, an hour later. So you get a bit of time to trade the first part and then maybe even the conference afterwards. But you know what? These events, these central bank events are convoluted. So just be aware it's, it's going to be messy. In saying that, the ECB monetary accounts, now this is just a release. It's, it's like the statement. So you, will, you will, will have the answer straight away. There's no convoluted up and down, all this stuff. So what the market will be looking for is more uh, concerns from the ECB and Draghi. If uh, they aren't in there, well, then the euro may rally. But you know what? The euro is just crying out for some sort of direction. And I don't think we're going to get it from the ECB at this stage. They're probably happy enough that it's actually calmed down. And that's pretty much all we've got for today. The, you know, so you get two core events. There's nothing really coming out in the North American session. Uh, so you've got a pretty quiet uh, day ahead. Now, when I say quiet North American session, Obviously, that's, the, that's Trump's prime time. So the North American session will be dictated by random uh, news releases. And I can tell you, oh, let me just give you a look at the, the news services again. There's, um, I mean, they, they love it when Trump says stuff because it, they get to write a whole heap of crap uh, around what a lunatic he is. And if you have a look here, uh, it's all about Trump tariffs and it's on every feature. So... You look at the uh, central bank pages, the main news, China, China, US, Trump, blah, blah, blah. So that they are milking this for what it's worth. They've got about two or three days before all traders become desensitized, and that's when they'll come back to something else. So we have to sort of wait and see how this, uh, this plays out. But um, as I said, there's a few central banks sort of hinging uh, their bets on this, and that's what you need to be aware of. Now, just looking at the major pairs, just, just to give you another... A bit of a quick look at the charts. I mean, this is that crazy price action on the Aussie. I think there's been uh, some some wild uh, algos at play there. The RBNZ, well, the Kiwi has just been drifting lower. It did gap on Monday. There's a huge chance of a gap. The uh, RBNZ due in about well, just under an hour and a half. Uh, as I said, if there's no change, it'll be up here. 
but it will gap from probably here to here. So I don't think it's going to be an easy one. And don't forget the conference afterwards. Now, dollar yen is drifting lower. The yen safe haven play whilst this China-US situation unravels. Then you've got uh, euro drifting sideways, same as sterling in massive ranges, and also dollar cad in pretty big ranges there as well. So, you know, right now, what have we got? Well, that's pretty tricky. You know, you, you, I've got to be honest and say, you know, is there clear trading opportunities right at this point? I don't think so. Um, I'm waiting to see how uh, some of these events roll out. And for me, these central bank meetings can be a bit of a pain in the backside. The real uh, opportunities are clear data releases where we can get momentum and you don't have weird price action. You uh, Chinese CPI tomorrow and then really the uh, US CPI Friday are key, key releases. Uh, in my eyes, they are the best for the week. So I'm sort of hanging out for those, but we'll see how things eventuate. You know, we could get some... I know the Chinese have sent the delegate to, to uh, Washington to start talks. Trump's the one we've got to keep an eye on. He's the left field random event, and it's pretty hard to contain that lunatic. All right, guys, that's it for me. Not a hell of a lot there. Jump into 247 Trade Zone if you've got questions about what's going on. But, uh, you know, plenty of trading to come this week. Cheerio.